everyone today we are going to see how we will uh, how we will format our code in uh, visual studio code so i already opened one of the visual studio code here so i am trying to format some of the files so uh, we have a couple of scenarios sometimes we need to yeah format our json file sometimes we need to format our uh, yaml file sometimes we need to format our uh, something called xml file so we'll go a couple of scenario how we will format how we'll do the formatting so here this is an a yaml file the doctor docker extension is recommended for this kind of types so here what i'm going to do is i will uh, i will change some of this then i am going to try to format this one whether i can do that or no so i am selecting all that files so basically in X, uh, docker yeah we got the answer there is no formatter for yaml file install formatter so i need to install some formatter so whenever you are going for an extension if you have some extension from well known uh, companies we should uh, accept that instead of accepting some uh, some other persons already sharing uh, such uh, such extension so here red hat red hat providing so many extension for visual studio code so i am going for red hat uh, yaml and let's see how it's going to work whether my file is going to yeah going to format or not so here uh, i insert that one we don't need any restart that's a benefit of visual studio code yeah right now you can see so everything changed right so everything formatted so uh, so that's the case for yaml so we will see the other scenario also so uh, uh, actually i moved this one to here so that's why it's gone to here so if i am just changing this one here what is going to happen it will keep there just to see that so here okay it will keep there because in yaml that is the uh, the formatting is the difficult part we are formatting not the computer so uh, this is a case only only the case of yaml so we don't need to worry about yaml right now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new uh, a json or whatever file and i i am trying to format that also so that's the one thing we need to do right now instead of uh, doing other thing so i am going to take a xml file here and uh, what i am going to do is i will copy and paste here and i am going to save so saving they are asking for the location so i am going for document location and i will uh, testing or something testing dot xml i need to mention my xml format then i need to select all the lines that I need to format then all shift F that's the way we will format so saying like there is no inst formatter so if we are going for a formatter there is one available from Red Hat itself so we can choose that so right now I choose that one and that already installed and I am again trying for all shift F so it's formatter so it's very simple so even if it is in if it is an xml file they will ask for something to do before uh, we are formatting so after formatting it's very easy so i will go for some of the scenarios here i guess i have some json file so i am looking for some of the json file that i need to get before i am going to proceed so here 
yeah here I have another JSON file so I am going to uh, save us this one so I am going to save us this one as say JSON and I am trying to change that content okay so this is the XML content so I am selecting this one or shift formatter and its formats so JSON it's inbuilt support we don't need to install anything so right now we can see Java also since Java also is an important yeah, thing using Visual Studio Code so what I'm going to do is I will save us this one into Java instead of JSON I'm going to save us Java and in Java it's very a different way of uh, declaring so file formatter or something else and I'm going to public white main or something so I, ho I have already Java support I guess that's why it's happening in this way otherwise it will not accept like this I guess so I am going to select this one and what shift tab so it's asking for Install some formatter here. Red Hat providing that. I'm going for Red Hat. So that's all. Yeah, it took a couple of time to install. Java lending in the lens formatting refactoring. Okay. Right now, selecting all shape tab. Done. That's all. So it's very simple. So thank you for watching. Have a nice